Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new video. Today I'm going to do the third part of the Photoshop beginner tutorials. This time we're going to go over to the third tool, which is the lasso tool. So today I'm going to show you the goal of this tool and how you could use it. So to start off, I'm going to open actually an image. Uh, I've already prepared it. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's an image. Don't search too much behind it. <laughs> I just took it, you know. I'm going to explain some little things here. By the way, I want to zoom it a little bit more so I can focus on the image. So I want to show you a little bit what actually is the, um, the most important thing about this tool. First of all, really simple. The lasso tool is about making a selection of... Um, in the end, it is making a selection tool, okay? So what you do, you can just can see you have to draw it yourself. And I'm not a master in uh, concentration. So yeah, it, it just fails a little bit. But this, I'm going to show you a little bit. I'm going to go quick over her a little bit. Trying to do it a little bit with quality. But yeah, that's, that's really hard as you can see. But the main idea here is to show you that this tool is mainly for like, there we go, wait, I have to connect it. There you go. See, it's making a selection in the end. So you release it and you have to connect it with the start point and the end point. You have to connect them both and they'll make the selection. So as you can see, I just made one really quick. It is not my favorite tool, as you can see, because it leaves just a lot of things that are just not good. You see, as you can hear, it's empty between the the background and her let me show you what these two other things do up here so this one i believe makes it larger so if you want to enlarge a little bit well not like this obviously like this a little bit yes something like this you have to make a little bit of a circle to enlarge it okay this one is to um to cut it off so if you can say oh that was not really good you do like this bam it's gone but it's, it's really, yeah, uh, I mean, I'm showing you this so that you can see what it actually all is about. And that you learn more about this tool. Does he take that? Yes, he does. Yeah, it's basically a really quick one to make too. And if you do this, it's going to make another one, another one, a new one, a new one. Every time it's going to make a new one. Okay. So then, now we have had this. This is it's not more than that, you believe me, guys. It's, um, <laughs> it's not more than that. Next thing is going to be the, um, the, what is it called? The polygonal option of the lasso tool okay so this is the polygon tool and this one works like the pen tool every time you click it's gonna make a new dot in fact so yeah i can do this for a while but you get the idea this one is already better i prefer this one already because you can be more precisely and have less chance of yeah miss making one little mistake you know and having to do the thing over again so this is basically easier and i'm doing it a little bit fast keep that in mind as you can see, it does get a little bit tricky around things like toes and everything. Because, yeah, it's pretty square and toes are with a certain size. But it does work. As you can see, you have to click a lot to make actually something like a circle or something around. Just quickly going to show you guys this. As you can see, it's pretty useful. It definitely is useful in, any, in some cases. Um, but as once again, I'm showing you guys this for what this tool is good for. And as you can see, it's pretty good. Connect dots here. And you have a pretty good selection, to be honest. It really is. So as you can see, yeah, I can do everything now. I can delete her or I can do inverse and delete the background. But you will immediately see that um, it is actually not really a good uh, cutout. You can see you have the grass and everything around. It's not the best, okay? But it's definitely an option in some cases. So the last, but definitely my favorite option of the lasso tool is the magnetic lasso tool. Now this one will definitely help you if you are planning to use this tool on getting out your image. So I'm going to show you. I'm just clicking, okay? And the only thing I'm going to do is hold my mouse button. And I'm doing nothing right now. Well, he thinks that the tree is part of her, okay? Um, I'm doing nothing except dragging my mouse right now. Um, slightly around the object. And the tool itself is actually just yeah how to say that it's, it's it's sticking to the image to what i want and what i'm focusing on which is the grill and as you can see it does a decent job if as i said you're planning to use this tool this one is really like the most useful option in it and uh, definitely gets a good job done just uh, finishing this a little bit oopsie took um, some of the forest well you know you, you, you have to do it with some patience and as i see i'm going a little bit over it but as i said there's definitely a result in this tool it's a really good tool, as you can see it does a really good job, almost there, as you can see I missed some parts, but once again it's to show you, there we go. As you can see this is already a more decent selection, except I did it too quick here and I have some forest here and here, but if you have a more easier, because this is a pretty hard background, I keep in mind this is not the easiest image to cut out, uh, but this lasso tool 
really is useful for some cases. I have seen it used a lot also, you know. It it has really some good aspects. It, it, it works really good in some cases. Once again, my favorite tool is the pen tool here. But if you're planning on using this tool here, the magnetic tool, um, in these three, yeah, you have to be so you have to lasso tool, and it is the third option, the mag magnetic tool, which is the lasso tool, which is the most uh, useful one. But that is everything I had to say about this tool. Actually, this is really where this tool is about. The main concept I explained you also where this is for. This is a main. I showed you also that in the rectangular marquee tool that this is actually just to um, to take off or to change the selection. But in most cases it wouldn't be necessary. This is really the main idea. Uh, magnetic lesser tool. The option magnetic of the lesser tool is definitely the best one. As you can see, it takes out the best selection if you're planning on using this tool. And uh, yeah, there we go. You would know more about this tool right now. And step by step, as I said, every week, I mean, not every week, but every time I'm going to post this another beginner's tutorial. Next, I'm going to do this one, which is a pretty nice one as, as well. It's also about changing and cutting out images and everything. It is the, let me remind you, yeah, the quick selection tool, and then I'm going down the list, you know. Um, to show you every tool in detail, pretty much, and what you all need to know about it. And then in the end, you will know much more about Photoshop. And that is actually also the main goal behind these Photoshop beginners tutorials. But anyway, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. It would be really nice. Subscribe to my channel. It would also be really nice. would appreciate that. And I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.